Hello, Matt here with another episode of Magnolia Bridge, where we master the Magnolia bidding style pioneered by Carlton de Reich. For those of you unfamiliar with the Magnolia style, it is a concise yet clear way of bidding, and it is notable for its enriched versions of a few popular bridge conventions. Now, here's Brian. Today, we're going to have a look at the large number of possible responses to partners' one no trump opening bid. Your partner is indicating having 16 to 18 high card points and no five card suit. Keep in mind that Magnolia players will bid one no trump regardless of whether there is a singleton or doubleton. Also, it is not required to have a stopper in every suit. It is more important to convey the strength of the hand and no potential trump suit. First, see whether your hand has seven or more high card points. If it doesn't, then you bid a pass. All the other responses assume that you have anywhere between 7 and the remaining 24 high card points in the deck. With partner having 16 to 18 points, and you having 7 or more points, you should be thinking about agreeing on a game contract or a slam contract. Note that the response is the same regardless of whether your hand has opening points or not. Your response is determined by your longest suit. There are responses for 7 or longer card suits, 6 card suits, 5 card suits, and 4 card major suits. Now have a look at this hand. Here, the Magnolia bidding style uses the 2 spade response to indicate a 7 card or longer suit. In this example, you have 7 diamonds. Your partner is obligated to ask you for your suit by bidding 2 no trump. You then bid your long suit at the 3 level. As partner has no 5 card suit, they must have at least a singleton of the suit, which, being the 8th card, is sufficient support for a contract in your suit. If you do not have a 7 card or longer suit, then look for a 6 card major suit. Here, the Magnolia bidding style uses a variation of the Texas transfer convention. Bid one suit lower than your major suit at the 3 level. For a 6 card heart suit, this would be 3 diamonds. For a 6 card spade suit, this would be three hearts. If partner has two cards of your suit, then partner will immediately say transfer and at their turn would bid your suit at the three level. Otherwise, your partner will decline the transfer by not saying transfer and will bid three no trump. If your partner accepts the transfer, you then confirm the transfer intent by bidding four of the suit or investigate the possibility of a slam contract by initiating the four club sliding Gerber convention. If you do not have a 6 card major suit, then look for a 5 card major suit. Here, the Magnolia bidding style uses a variation of the Jacobi transfer convention. Use the same process as the Texas transfer, but at the 2 level instead of the 3 level. Again, bid one suit lower than your major suit at the 2 level. For a 5 card heart suit, this would be 2 diamonds. For a 5 card spade suit, this would be 2 hearts. If partner has three cards of your suit, then partner will immediately say transfer and at their turn will bid your suit at the two level. Otherwise, your partner will decline the transfer by not saying transfer and will bid two no trump. If partner accepts the transfer, you then confirm the transfer intent. With seven to nine points, bid three of the suit. With 10 to 11 points, bid four of the suit. With 12 or more points, Investigate the possibility of a slam contract by initiating the four club sliding Gerber convention. If you do not have a five or six card major suit, then look for a five or six card minor suit. If found, bid the suit at the two level. If you are bidding two clubs, partner will assume that you are initiating the stamen convention. If you are bidding two diamonds, partner will assume that you are initiating a Jacobi transfer to hearts. In both cases, Bid the suit again to confirm that you do have either five or six cards of the suit and to deny the stamen or transfer request. If you do not have a five or six card minor suit, then look for a four card major suit. If you have either four hearts or four spades, then bid two clubs to initiate the stamen convention. Partner will bid either their four card major or will bid two diamonds 
to deny having a four card major. If partner has both four hearts and four spades, then the hearts will be bid first. If you have four of the suit other than partner's suit, then bid two no trump. Otherwise, confirm having support partner's bid by bidding it or begin investigating the possibility of a slam contract. Finally, if you have none of the above, then bid two no trump. Partner will either bid three no trump or continue to bid higher. However, as a partnership does not have a five card or longer suit, a no trump contract can prove to be very challenging to play even if the partnership has the 30 or more points recommended for a slam contract. Now, let's have a look at a one no trump hand and watch the auction. One no trump. The dealer East, with 16 to 18 high card points and no five card suit, has opened the bidding with one no trump. Three spades. South, with fewer than 12 points and with seven spades, has tabled a preemptive bid to disrupt the opponent's communication. Pass. West has a necessary seven points to respond to partner's one no trump opening bid. However, the hand does not have a five card suit to introduce. If South had passed, instead of bidding three spades, West, with a four card major in hearts, would have initiated the two club stamen convention. Since that is no longer an option, West is likely to be tempted to bid three no trump. However, if partner only has the minimum 16 high card points of a one no trump opening bid, then the partnership would only have 23 points, which is slightly insufficient for a three no trump contract. As South is showing seven spades, and West not having a stopper to stop a run in spades, West has prudently decided to pass. Pass. North has used the rule of 15 as a guide to determine whether a game contract can be played. However, the nine high card points plus the singleton spade only totals to 10, which is far short of 15. Therefore, North has passed. Double. With three guaranteed spade tricks, two diamond tricks, and one heart trick, East has counted six possible winners, of which only five are needed to take down the contract. Pass. Pass. West had to decide whether partner's double was a takeout double or a penalty double. As West had initially passed, East should have assumed that West had fewer than seven points and likely no five card suit. Therefore, East should not be advancing the bidding. Also, as the double is at the three level, the bid should be a penalty double. If West had mistakenly bid three no trump and the contract was doubled, South's six of clubs would have been led and the opposition would have won four club tricks, one diamond trick, one heart trick, and one spade trick, taking the contract down three doubled. This would have given the opposition either 500 points if non-vulnerable or 800 points if vulnerable. Pass. Now let's watch as our players play the three spade doubled contract to see whether the preemptive bid was worth it. West has led the fourth from their longest and strongest suit. Partner won with the ace, pulling Declarer's singleton heart. With seven spades, Declarer is likely to be short in other suits. Therefore, West, with the top two diamonds, has decided to try to determine the diamond distribution. The five played by the declarer gives hope that the declarer has another diamond. East has led back partner's first lead, and declarer has roughed in the hand. South has led the three of spades to be won by dummy's ace. East has played the king, intentionally misleading declarer, to think East may be out of spades. South has led another spade, hoping for an even split. However, West is void, and East retains two winning spades. East has led the King of Diamonds, but Declarer is void and roughs. With Declarer showing a void in both hearts and diamonds, the opposition should now know Declarer's hand has four club cards. 
The Clara has led the Six of Clubs to be won by the King on the board. The Four of Diamonds has been led, and De Clara roughed in the hand. De Clara is now unable to return to the board to lead a heart or diamond. De Clara has now led the Ace of Clubs, hoping that East has another club. However, East roughed with a ten. East has led the Nine of Diamonds, forcing De Clara to use a trump card. Knowing East has no clubs, De Clara has led the Queen of Clubs. East roughs again, and De Clara has successfully eliminated East's remaining trump without leading trump. However, the contract is now down one. East led the Eight of Hearts to be roughed by De Clara's Eight. De Clara led the winning Jack of Clubs, and the contract is defeated. In duplicate bridge, for being down one doubled, north-south lose either 50 points if non-vulnerable, or 100 points if vulnerable. This is far less than the opponent's contract of 3 no trump down 3 doubled. It is worth remembering that these no-win types of hands, when bid competitively, will result in a failing contract. All we can do is bid as clearly as possible and have full trust in our partners. Now here is Carlton de Rijk with today's commentary. The preempt opening served its purpose. The person with the one no trump opener now has a problem. But when he counts the number of tricks in his hand, he sees that he can put them down by one. He has three winners in spades, a heart and a diamond. So he doubles, and the double is a penalty double, which he hopes to put the opposition down with. And with that, thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our channel, and as always, may all the points be with you.